Hello and welcome. Welcome to another Lunch with Lisa. I am Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing, now in its 10th anniversary edition. <sighs> Today, let's talk about universal law. Because universal law is consistent. It is God's law, the law of how the universe works. The universe works in very specific ways. And it works the same way all the time for everybody. Whether you're in a human body, an animal body, a plant body, a fish body, does not matter. All bodies work on the same principles. Universal law is consistent across the board. It never changes and it never varies. Universal law. Many people know about the law of one, that everything is one. Many, most people have heard about the law of attraction, that what you put out is what comes back, also known as the law of karma. But most people have never heard of the biological laws. Because all we know about the body is that there's something wrong with it. Uh-oh, there's something wrong with my body. It's not functioning properly. It's not doing what I want it to do. Therefore, there's something wrong with it. I'm being attacked by a killer disease. ruh -roh. But this is not what's happening. <laughs> Universal law. There are laws of cause and effect. The effects show up in our physical bodies. The cause is assumed to be a disease. It is assumed that diseases are attacking us when our bodies are not functioning the way we want them to function. However, the universal laws of cause and effect and the universal laws of the biological laws state that there is an emotional cause for every physical effect. The emotional cause is a trauma, right? When we, if life is just going, going along smooth and easy and we're happy, pretty much we're pretty much healthy. Like everything is going really, really well. We're living in alignment. But as soon as life comes and knocks us upside the head, we're like, whoa, what just happened? It throws us off balance. That knock is the cause that begins the dis-ease process. If we don't understand how to mitigate or neutralize the knock that we've just received, that knock knocks our entire energy field off balance. If we do not know how to rebalance our energy field, hint, we as humanity have never been taught how to do this, our energy field then stays off balance until we can bring it back into balance. So an off-balance energy field is going to generate an off-balance physicalness, whether the off-balanceness shows up in our physical bodies, our bank accounts, our relationships, our physical experience gets knocked off balance. And as long as it stays off balance, it will continue to generate more and more off balanceness until we ourselves bring it back into balance. Everything is energy. And it is up to us to manage our own energy. 
We've not been taught this. In fact, we have been taught to ignore energy, ignore all the non-physical stuff. If it's not physical, it's not real. That's just your imagination. The imagination is the tool that we use to access all of the infinite possibilities of the universe, which are in non-physical form. Everything in the universe is non in non-physical form until it is brought into form. Here on planet Earth, the Earth is form. The Earth is a being unto herself. We are here having physical experiences on this beautiful planet. What we experience is up to us. When we understand how universal law works, we can understand how to use it on our behalf. We can start to understand why something is off balance, if it's off balance. And we can start to clear it at the energetic cause site. The cause site is always energetic. We are non-physical beings bringing our ideas to life. When we get knocked off balance, we have ideas of fear or doubt or guilt or shame or worry. Whatever knocked us off balance, somebody told us, bad girl, bad boy, you should, you should know better. You're four years old now. You should know better than that. Uh-oh. That's a trauma. We are traumatized from the time we are children, infants. In utero, we can get traumatized. So here, the effects of the traumas that we have received show up as distortions in our lives, whether, again, whether it's physical, emotional, whether it's... Um, uh, physical body distortion, a ro uh, relationship distortion, a money distortion, you know, whatever it is. Those distortions continue until we are able to clear the energies that are generating the distortions. So when we start to understand how the universe works, we start to see from a different perspective. Here on planet Earth, we've just been told how things work. Well, they don't work very well here on this planet, in case you haven't noticed. We live in states of war, in states of poverty, in states of climate disaster. But we are grand beings of light. We are creators. We are actually generating everything that appears in, in our physical experiences. We have the ability to generate far, far more pleasing, more healthy experiences but we have to change the way we look at things. We have to stop assuming that what we're told is true. We have to start recognizing how the universe works because everything is happening according to universal law. We cannot escape universal law. We cannot escape the laws of biology. Right now, we're simply told that our bodies are being attacked by killer diseases. 
this is not true on any level. Our bodies are manifesting the distortions in our mental and emotional bodies, the non-physical parts of ourselves, the energetic parts of ourselves, the parts that we're told to ignore. If it's not physical, it's not real. Well, guess what? Your mental body is not physical. Your emotional body is not physical. Your etheric body is not, is not physical. The majority of you is non-physical. We are non-physical beings here experiencing physicalness. Everything that we experience in physicalness is being generated from the non-physical. So the universal laws of biology dictate that a shock happens and that shock will start the dis-ease process. Our bodies respond appropriately to the shocks that we receive. If we are not able to mitigate the shock, to neutralize the energetic impact that the shock has had on us, our bodies will continue to respond to the shock. And our bodies are responding in ways that make sense for our survival. There is nothing wrong with our bodies. Our bodies are acting on our behalf. The universal laws of biology, the five biological laws, were discovered by Dr. Rika Geard Hammer in 1980. He did thorough research. He discovered that there are universal laws that govern our biology, whether we're in an insect body, a fish body, a deer body, a bear body, an armadillo body, <laughs> a human body. All bodies respond to the same biological laws. All biology. Any living organism is governed by biological law, by the universal laws of biology. And the universal laws of biology say absolutely nothing about killer diseases. Killer diseases are an assumption. The universal laws of biology state that our bodies are responding on our behalf, that our bodies are always on our side, that our bodies, our biology is intelligent, and that whatever our bodies are doing, they are doing for a very good reason. And that when we, when we finally mitigate the original shock, our bodies can stop responding and our bodies can heal themselves naturally and for free. I wonder why the universal laws of biology are not taught in schools. What do you think? What do you think about your ability to heal your own body, to bring yourself back into balance? You are in charge of you. You are in charge of all things you. I am in charge of all things me. <laughs> Every human on the planet is in charge of themselves. There is nobody else who can bring you back into balance. Other people can help you 
bring yourself back into balance. Absolutely. However, you are the ultimate source of your own health and healing. You have the power. You have been given the power. The divine design states that you have everything you need. You have been given everything you need by God, source, universe, nature itself, whatever word you prefer to use. You have the power. You have simply been taught that you're a victim. You're not a victim. You're a grand creator. And it's up to you to create the health and happiness that you desire. And it's up to you to learn the biological laws. It's up to you to learn the universal laws of how the universe actually functions. Because they're not broadcast on TV. They're not taught in school. So you're not going to learn it from the news, from TV, or from school. It's up to us to teach ourselves. It's up to us to learn. So if you are ready to learn how to bring yourself back into balance, if you are ready to learn about how the universe actually works and what's actually happening to your body, I am here to help you. I am not here to heal you. I cannot heal you. Only you can heal you. But I can help you make your healing journey fast. When I found myself facing cancer, I didn't know all of these things yet. So I was terrified. I thought I was being attacked by a killer disease. But I also knew that my emotional struggles, the traumas, the dramas around money and relationships, and just life in general, <laughs> We're at the root of my, my problem. So I started to learn how the universe works because I knew that if I understood how the universe works, I could start working with the universe to bring myself back into balance. So I healed myself naturally by shifting my consciousness, by learning how my body was actually helping me not trying to kill me. And I healed for free. We all have the ability. I paid for classes from people to show me about energy. I learned some of the universal laws from other people. They were very helpful. But I had to put all the pieces together myself. So my journey was a very long and winding road and I fell down over in potholes and I tripped over rocks and boulders along my way. And it was not easy and it was not graceful. But that long and winding journey, when I finally finished that part of the journey, I realized, I looked back and realized that we could go from the start to the finish in a straight line rather than around and around the mulberry bush. If you're ready for the straight line, if you're ready to learn how to avoid the potholes and how to empower yourself right from the beginning, I teach a course called Aligning with Your Radiantly Healthy Self. It's going to start again on September 6, 2023, coming up in a couple of weeks. If you'd like to participate, it's a 12-week class to show you the universal laws to show you the power that you actually possess as a grand being of light. It's there, I'm here to show you that you are a grand being of light and that you are a creator and that you can create anything you desire, including radiant health. You have all the skills that you, all, that you need you have access to all the wisdom that you need. 
but you have to be willing to take your health into your own hands. You have to be willing to see the grand being of light that you truly are. You're, you have to be willing to see how the universe works. You have to be willing to see that there is a vast discrepancy between the current medical model and the five biological laws that are currently labeled as Germanic healing knowledge. I am not a teacher of the five biological laws, but I will, I will teach you the five biological laws. I will teach you how they work. I'm a shifter of consciousness. If you are ready to shift your consciousness, if you are ready to start seeing the power that you have to heal yourself, please reach out. The class starts September 6th, and I would love to have you join us. The classes are small, and you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. So if you're ready, please reach out. You can find me at Connecting You to You. Dot com. If you're interested in the class, just check out the show notes here and I will have a direct link so you can learn more about aligning with your radiantly healthy self. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing, now in its 10th anniversary edition, available on Amazon. Thanks so much. Until next week, create for yourselves a great week. You have the power. Thanks for joining me. Till next week. Bye for now.